Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Residents in seven communities affected by toxic firefighting chemicals could soon receive a share of up to $132 million in compensation. The Commonwealth has settled a class action involving up to 30,000 people whose property values have been affected by PFAS. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says it's an example of why occupational health and safety is such an important issue. The biggest concern that I have with PFAS isn't of course a financial one, it is the health outcomes of people who are affected by it. Anthony Albanese, meantime, believes progress is being made in our relationship with China, despite trade bans remaining. The Trade Minister has returned from Beijing, where he held talks with his Chinese counterpart about restrictions on Australian products, including wine and barley. Now, some bad news for mortgage holders who are being told to brace for two more interest rate rises this year. Experts had largely expected rates to stay on hold this month, but the RBA made a point to 5% hike. Now, analysts at National Australia Bank expect another rise in July and at least one more after that. The tax office is vowing to crack down on landlords claiming dodgy deductions. The ATO has found nearly 90% of property developers are making mistakes on their tax return. The federal government believes the increased scrutiny will claw back nearly $500 million over five years. And a national anti-scam centre is being set up to tackle scams and online fraud. Now, sport and entertainment are next. The SCG has retained the New Year's Test match and will host the third and final men's test between Australia and Pakistan. And Matilda's captain, Sam Kerr, has kicked the only goal to give Chelsea a 1-0 win over Manchester United in the Women's FA Cup final. Now let's look at your entertainment news. It seems Aussies can't get enough of Coldplay, with Perth adding an extra show due to high demand. Ticketmaster says they had a peak of 300,000 fans waiting in the pre sale queue, which is an actual record for Australia. Now, Perth is the only place Coldplay will be playing. It looks like Taylor Swift's new relationship might be moving quickly. The 1975 frontman Maddie Healy has been spending some bonding time with Tay-Tay's dad as she takes her eras tour to Philadelphia. And Kylie Minogue has announced her new album, Tension, will drop later this year. It's her 17th studio album and comes out September 22nd. The singer, describing it as a blend of personal reflection, club abandon and melancholic high. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.